congratulations you got here first. Thank you for being so diligent and supporting Sola so that she can continue buying me all the tasty snacks and fund my only fans. Don't forget to hydrate and enjoy this midstream. Hello, hello, hi Aku, hi Nomad, how goes it, how goes it? Hey Small, hey Gemma, hello, hello, how's it going everybody? Sorry, uh, I think Twitter's down or something because I went to do my going live post and like I sent it but apparently it's like you can't see any posts at the moment. I checked my phone and my computer so Twitter might be down in uh, your uh, day-to-day 24-7 news <laughs> or it might just be down for me maybe I'm banned maybe I got banned on Twitter <laughs> maybe I'm cancelled don't even know it <laughs> hope y'all are doing well though hope y'all are doing well I hope you had a good Monday and Tuesday we are just gonna be uh, doing some more dating of death so a little nothing nothing too crazy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, I had a good, I had a good day. It was stormy like hell out there. So if uh, it's fine now, but um, my uh, like the area outside was pretty stormy. It was quite windy and rainy. It was like raining sideways. Okay, okay. Thank you, Nomad. Thank you. I good luck on your mission. <laughs> I hope it goes well. Oh, I finally went grocery shopping because I always put out, put off going out for s not social things, but things I have to do. I always put it off because I'm like, mm, I don't want to. Mm, I could just not. Like <laughs> and uh, so I went and I got these little pretzels that are like frozen and then you heat them up and you put some salt on it. Mm, so good. So good. I'm like... I ate some just before stream and I'm like, ooh, do I go make more? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I have lots of snacks. I have other snacks too. But yes, yes, yes. 
Ooh, chili, chili, chili. Yeah, so if I, I suddenly stream cuts out, it's probably because the weather's not good. Oh, I love pretzels. There's this pretzel place I've been to in, like, um, Toronto. And it's got, like, these giant, like, the pretzel was, like, yay big. And it was, like, a cheesy pretzel. But they had, like, all different flavors. I want to go back there and try some of the other flavors. But I just got, like, one that was, like, absolutely loaded with cheese. I love cooked cheese. Like, you know, the crispy stuff that's, like, on the baking sheet around whatever you're cooking. Ooh, I love nachos, too. I love nacho cheese. I like food. <laughs> Food is good, food is good. But yes, yes, I'm a little cold right now, but it's just because I live in a basement and it's freezing, so we've got the blanket and we are ready to <laughs> game, yes, all the cheese all the time. I love cheese. I don't know what I would do if I was lactose intolerant. I actually have no idea. I I I I would maybe cry, I don't know. Or shit myself, I guess. That's, uh, that's kind of what they do. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, ignore me. <laughs> yes, we do love being <laughs> comfy. No, cheese means no poutine. I know. I couldn't live without poutine, too. When people ask me what's like one of my favorite foods, I usually go with poutine. Not just because I'm Canadian, but it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. If you've never had a poutine, it's not the same. All you need is gravy, cheese curds, and fries. And, mm, so good. So good. Oh, it's... Uh, there's this place. I like a good old classic poutine. But there's a place where they put, like, sour cream, guacamole, sriracha, and nacho cheese on it as well. And oh my god, it's so good. It's literally fries with gravy on top and then cheese curds like melted in. Some people put shredded cheese in as well, but like the standard poutine is um, like just fries, gravy, and cheese curds specifically. Yeah, nacho cheese. I haven't actually had like classic nacho cheese in a while. Maybe, I, maybe I'll get a poutine. <laughs> Probably not tonight. Yes, it's it's my not chos. <laughs> nice. I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It might be an after after certain craving. Although it always sucks when you are craving one and then you get one that's like mediocre and you're like, eh. Like I try not to get it from fast food places too often because it just it's always so disappointing. I'm like, oh, the cheese curds are like kind of melty they don't have to be fully melted but it's like you gotta there's a good balance or if the gravy's not good that can ruin a poutine but yeah some people say poutine because it's it's originated from french like uh the french canadians but i say poutine oh okay <laughs> I guess we'll get started then with thoughts of food <laughs> on our mind. We'll go into the romance portion of this game. Oh, oh my god, that's the worst. But I do agree with that in one sense. Uh, not necessarily that I would know a specific place, but I find a lot of chip trucks have like some of the best poutine and they're all usually only open in the summer. Chip trucks are great. If you're ever like road tripping anywhere in Canada and there's a chip truck and it has a poutine, give it a go. There's a place in my old uh, hometown. It would give you like they had a family size poutine and it was like a box like yay big. I don't know. Hard, hard to but like maybe as big as this. And oh my god, it was so good. It's just a chip truck outside of the local uh, dollar store. Oh. Sometimes the most rundown places have the best food. Actually, I so the city I'm currently in, uh, I moved here 
two years ago, I guess, almost at this point, and I'm still like, I should go out and explore more of the food options. Like, there's so many, there's so many restaurants. And it's just like, god damn. Like, most places have a few, like, the hell the diners and stuff like that. It, like, even when I live in small towns, I don't go to every spot. Like, usually I find a place I like and I kind of keep going there because I'm like, oh, I like the food. If I go, I'm always guaranteed. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want some of the meme, that would be awesome because then I could see it. But yeah, no. Half of my humor is stolen. <laughs> we just learn from others. And I mean, uh, plagiarism is uh, the best form of flattery. Yeah. As long as you're not plagiarizing someone's, like, you know, art and stuff like that. You good, you good. Or work for that matter. But jokes and stuff, yes. Humor is fine. <laughs> Just the one exception. Ooh, nice, nice. That's a that's a good mission. That's a good mission. There's a. I know some places will have like uh, a poutine festivals. I kind of want to try one more time. The thing I the one thing with poutine though is like if someone asked me if poutine would be like the one thing I could eat for the rest of my life, I would probably say no just because it's so good. But it's so like it's kind of a heavy greasy food. Yeah, I gotta look it up. Give me a second. I probably can't reveal the location and stuff like that, but... Is it in my province is the question. Uh, Routine Festival Canada. I feel like... I feel like the French Canadians would have one. There's apparently a traveling one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. I usually, I have let people know that I am in Ontario and that's as specific as I will get. Because I'm EST. EST Canada. Yeah, yeah, it, it is bad for you, but it's, it's, as long as you're not like eating it every day, it's fine. Which is why I want it. And it's kind of like a heavy greasy food too. Like if I were to like pick a food that I could eat for the rest of my life, I would want something that's like... Either if it's like one of those foods where it's, you can kind of change it, like if it was like a pizza, so like maybe one day you have like a pepperoni or like one day you could have a Canadian pizza or like one day you could have like a meat lovers or like a veggie pizza, like or like maybe a white pizza, like the uh, white sauce pizza. Were you bonking me, Hamada? I'm sorry, my bonk wasn't up. Oh, Pokeball. Yeah, yeah. Things like that where you can, like, switch the insides out so that, like... Six Raiders from... Hey! Redmond and 98. Let's go! That is Welcome epic. in, Panda. Welcome. welcome in! How's it going, Raiders? Welcome in, welcome in. I hope your stream was good. You're uh, playing Persona 3 Reload right now, right? Let's go! I unfortunately do not know much about the Persona series, but I, I've been kind of- I've been lurking while you've been playing it. It looks interesting. But yeah, how was stream? We are currently- oh sorry, Smug, I haven't set up that command yet. I'm sorry, it, it's just the old classic Twitch shoutout that we have to do, I'm sorry. But yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm the- <laughs> I'm Sully Spike, I'm a horror puzzle streamer, although tonight we are going to be playing a dating sim. Uh, but it's with death, so you know, kind of spooky. <laughs> but yes, uh, we're currently talking about what kind of food we would like to eat if like, we could only eat one food for the rest of our lives. Because I like poutine a lot, but I want to do it. Poke bowl would be good, because yeah, you could switch it up and stuff. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, too. If any of you guys need to raid and run, get water, get food, get sleep, do whatever you need to do. Thank you for trusting me with your community. But I t totally get it. Do what you gotta do. But you're also welcome to hang out here. <laughs> Sorry, I, my, my brain go squirrel, 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 squirrel. Oh, oh, I gotta go back to that squirrel. No, no, absolutely, Panda. Go, go sleep. Have a good rest. Thank you for <laughs> coming and hanging out with us. 
I totally get that. Half the time after this stream, like, streaming, I literally just- I go, I chill for a bit, and then I relax. Oh, hello, Biko! How's it going? How's it going? But, yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, other foods. Because I wouldn't want anything, like, too... Like, maybe if you could do, like, subs. Like, a sub, but you could, like, switch what's in the sub every day. Like, a subway. <laughs> like, you just get a subway sub every day. Maybe not subway specifically, but, like, you get a sub where you can, like, change the toppings out every day. That might be good. Burritos. Sub, subway surfers. I played subway surfers way, way, way back in the day. <laughs> Oh, I've seen a few people put, like, that kind of thing, like, I've seen it on TikTok all the time, but, like, on their stream, they'll have it, like, in a corner, and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Here, I'll just... Does this make it easier to pay attention? <laughs> I get it. I have a short attention span, too, which is half the reason why I go from one topic, and I switch to the other topic, and then I'm like, oh, oh, I need to go back to the other topic, because I was talking about that other thing. I'm just also very socially awkward, so... <laughs> oh, that's such a cute heart emote, Pico! This is very cute! Oh my god. But yeah, I... If you weren't allowed to, like, get something where you could change it out every day... Though, like, if it had to be, like, oh, you're having, like, a pepperoni pizza specifically or something like that. If I could eat a food for the rest of my days, I think. I think I would go with, like, maybe, uh, like, onigiri. Maybe, like, an eel onigiri. I don't know. I like rice and the seaweed and stuff would make perfect. I've been good though, Pico. I've been good. I've just been chilling, just got home from work, and yeah, now we're just relaxing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That is one way to fight it. If you had. Oh. That'd be such a weird ability to have. Like, if you could just turn whatever food is in front of you into a different food, that'd be quite. <laughs> <laughs> quite the, quite the uh, feet. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Work was good. It was actually a pretty chill day at work, so that was awesome. I just puttered away, did my few little things I had to do, and then kind of worked and relaxed. You know, those days when you're kind of like, you make yourself look like you're doing work and you're still doing a little bit of work, but it's like, hey. Oh, yeah. I wonder if there'd be, like, a limitation on it, though. Like, I mean, of course, it's all hypothetical, but it's like, oh, it has to have, like, the same calorie amount or something like that. But that would be pretty nice if you could turn a grain of rice into a five-star steak. Oh. Oh, I haven't had steak in a while. I don't really cook. <laughs> I'm a terrible chef. When I try to make stuff, I find it doesn't have a lot of flavor, so I'm like, ah, like, hey. I could experiment with it more. I could probably take cooking lessons or something, but I'm just like, mm, I'm too lazy. I'm also very impatient when it comes to cooking. Like, sitting there waiting for the water to boil for pasta, I'm just like, someone help me. I want it quicker, quicker, quicker. <laughs> it never goes quicker, but <laughs> I would love for it to go like that. <laughs> it would be very awesome. Actually, I had a faux uh, ramen today for my work lunch because I went out grocery shopping. So, okay, okay. So I was playing Borderlands with Nomad until like 2.30. I was like, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Which means I'm going to sit on my phone for at least 20 minutes, kind of scrolling through and seeing what's up. And then I'm going to go to bed. And I saw a little TikTok about an anime I've never heard of. I'm like, oh, when did this come out? Oh, 2020? That's good. That means all the episodes are out. I start binging 6 a.m., 7 a.m. in the morning rolls around. I'm like, shit, I can see light. I need to go to sleep. 
So I went grocery shopping and didn't have time to actually prep food, so I ended up bringing in some ramen to work. I mean, whatever works. Uh, it's called- oh my god, my brain's gonna die. This happened earlier, someone asked me as well and my brain died. It was- it's, uh, it's actually Chinese, I'm pretty sure, and it's, a uh, Paranormal Investigator Bureau, I think? Paranormal Investigation Bureau or something like that. It's, it's okay. The characters aren't, like, too fleshed out. Um, but yeah. I, I, I am very easily entertained. I am a simple woman. <laughs> so I usually, unless something is, like, really bad, I'll usually watch it all the way through. Maybe it's because I'm a bit of a completionist, but... <laughs> it, it's good, though. I... I like it, I just- I think the characters could use a little bit more, um, personality. Cause I don't really- I- I've like- I don't really relate to the characters too much, but I think the story is kind of cool, so I'm- I'm- I'm gonna stick it out. I'm halfway through. <laughs> so, we'll see. I'll probably end up binging a little bit of it. Oh yeah, I haven't really been watching too much recently. I've kind of- I go in like phases where I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna watch a lot of anime. Oh, I'm gonna watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna like maybe read like online books. Oh, I'm gonna like, um, maybe like game a lot more or something. Oh, thank you for Drink the posture check. Bitch. I will, I will. Oh, let me ah, sit like a normal human being. <laughs> Sorry for this squeaky ass chair. Oh, I'm gonna apologize for it every single time. Hmm. Like, favorite show in general or anime? Because anime, I don't have a favorite. I, I'm currently watching One Piece. I, okay, I say currently. I haven't watched it for a few months, but I am like 700 something episodes in. I think it's good. Um. I love the world building in it. Um, I like Hyoka a lot too. It's kind of like an older slice of life romance anime. Um, and then I feel like there's one more that I'm missing that I like a lot. My brain has trouble remembering things sometimes. And then like actual shows. Um, I'm trying to think, I think. I like Supernatural a lot. I haven't watched like the last like three or four seasons, but I did like that show a lot. And then um, new stuff though. I feel like there's something I've binged. Can't remember what. But there's a show I want to watch. Um, I watched the first season of Gravity Falls, and I never got around to watching the second. But I feel like it's come up again all of a sudden. Like I've been getting like. Uh, just post about it and stuff and I'm like oh I should go back and watch it and then my one friend's like yeah I'm watching the first season let's watch the second together I'm like okay okay oh another one I want to watch is delicious in dungeon um because um my one friend really loves it and she says uh she thinks I would like it a lot too so I gotta watch that at some point but yeah no I gotta watch the second season I have the thing. I could do it. I just- I find it hard to sit and watch episodes unless- Because I get too much to the point where I'm like, oh, I can't stop, I can't stop, I'm sucked in. So it's like, I know when I start, I'm gonna have trouble stopping. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen so many things. Like, it was- like, I went to a uh, convention in May. May. Yeah, May. And, uh... Yeah, every, like, uh, uh, there were so many cosplayers from that, as well as, like, just, like, a lot of people had merch for it. I think there was, there was also a stamp rally for it, which was really cool, but, uh, my one friend who liked it, like, sh she couldn't be there for the, uh, cosplay photo shoot, so I went and took pictures, so I have, like, a whole whack of, like, delicious and dungeon <laughs> cosplay pictures in my phone. <laughs> But, oh, yes. I'm actually debating doing a cosplay stream one time. Not, like, necessarily where I'm in cosplay, but maybe a cosplay building stream. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. I gotta 100% decide on what my cosplays are gonna be for next con season. 
because I think I'm done for this season. Watch. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be fun because I've done mono from Little Nightmare, so it's kind of a box head. I kind of like, and then I did 13 for My Hero Academia. I really like um, cosplays that cover my face. <laughs> uh, not that I have issues with stuff I'm a fan of necessarily, but um, also just kind of like the anonymous aspect of it and I uh, I can't do makeup like I'm allergic to it so I'm like oh not that you have to have makeup to cosplay but I'm like oh like I'd, li I'd like to do that so I'm like eh. so I like covering my face but I think I have all of them on my uh, socials if you want to check them out I think I have it on my Instagram for sure uh, if you want to check those cosplays out you can I don't think I have them in my discord I could be incorrect I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. That would be fun. I need to 100% pick because I know one for sure because it's going to be a, a uh, multiple people cosplay. And then um, I've been kind of going back and forth. I was debating doing Kaiju number eight, but I think that might be a little bit too much. So I was maybe going to do uh, Matarakan, the VTuber. But I gotta see. I gotta see. There's a lot of booba stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only if you want to, you know. <laughs> But yeah, it's only my second year cosplaying, so I was like, mm. and I've done like some simple cosplays where my face is shown and stuff like that, but yeah, okay, um, <laughs> I guess I should get to the game at some point, but this has been a good chat. I have enjoyed chatting. We can, of course, still chat as we play this game, but uh, yeah, we are dating the Grim Boy. I don't know how to transition from just chatting to a game. I'm just like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Social awkwardness. It's fine. <laughs> okay, we'll pause the music and we'll head over here. Oh, I mean, you can also always thrift and stuff like that. And I mean, you can also buy cosplays. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've never sewed or anything. I would kind of like to learn to sew and stuff like that so I could do more building in my cosplay, but I usually just like buy stuff that fits the cosplay and then I'll cut some things <laughs> and then I haven't really done too much like building stuff except for like heads. <laughs> I've really only built heads. The rest has been kind of just stuff I bought. <laughs> That's a, a few little, like, accessories I guess I've made. But, I mean, it, it's kind of just, like, whenever you decide, you're like, hey, I want to give this a go, like, give it a go, and, like, if you don't want to do a full out cosplay, and I mean, like, don't compare yourself to other cosplayers, it's a lot easier said than done, but, like, some people have been doing it for years and stuff like that, so... And it's always nice too, like, when you're in a cosplay, like, most of the time, if someone recognizes you and they're like, oh, I love that show, like, it's nice to hear that little, like, oh, hear from that, cool. But there's also been times where I've been dressed up as something and no one has any idea and I'm just like, oh, that's cool. But sometimes people, even if they don't know what you are, they're like, oh, cool cosplay. I'm like, nice, thanks. I mean, as long as you're happy with what you're wearing, then... That's good. That's good. Alright. I think. 2240. Oh, it was at 1211 that we finished last time. Yes, yes, we had the gallery. Oh, I love the music in this game. I've been kind of. So I jam out to both music. Well, you guys are in the just chatting, so like, you guys could only hear the just chatting stuff, but I could hear both, so it's like, oh, it's a, it's a lot of audio stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, 100%. If it's something you want to try to do, I recommend doing it. And sometimes, like, it can be just asking your friends to, like, do it with you or, like, maybe come out and support you. Like, that. that's also nice, too. If you can, like, 
if you got people around that are kind of maybe also thinking about it because it can be hard to like try something out like that new but I definitely recommend just giving it a go. <laughs> okay, let us talk to the boy. A day with death. Oh. Why should our status be talking to... I don't know. I didn't say... Uh, streaming. <laughs> we are currently streaming. Myrtle, I've had an important revelation in each set. I am unaware of certain aspects of your person. It is imperative that you answer these immediately upon being seen. One, your favorite mortal color? Aw, oh, they're not Canadian. They spelled color wrong. Aw! Oh. The season which you favor most? Favor? <laughs> That's two, two ORs. What is your family status? Names of any mortals who tickle your fancy left or right side of the bed? Thank you. Why have you taken so long to respond? I- I- it, it give me two seconds to respond, Grin. God damn. God damn. Perhaps my approach was wrong. No, the problem cannot be me. Hmm. Solar, I request your presence. Hello? Uh, oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? I've been gone for a couple days. Anyway, let me read all of this. We, t play we already tried playing 20 questions. <laughs> 20? Don't be ridiculous. Use your eyes and count. Okay, okay. I asked five. Technically, there are eight questions there. Ah, we're getting all technical on them. I'm sorry, buddy. Just answer the first five, mortal. Don't you want to know what took me so long? We were just chilling. We was chilling. I was like, oh, maybe I'll change my profile pic. No, I'm not gonna change my profile pic. Sorry to answer it, but yes, your approach was wrong, as always. <laughs> Keep teasing them. Just answer the other questions. I love the little cute chibi. It's very cute. His new profile pic. I like how he's kind of changed his profile pic every day. I mean, that's not something I expect anyone to do on the day to day. Yeah, um, actually. <laughs> true though, true. <laughs> <sighs> I love teasing people like that though. I do that all the time. <laughs> Not necessarily with the um actually, but I'm like, well, actually. I say well actually. Usually instead of um actually. <laughs> but it's fun teasing people. I have too much fun with it. <laughs> Fine, I'll work down the list. Favorite mortal color? Oh, purple. It kind of switches between purple and green, but it tends to be purple these days. It used to be more green than purple, but now it's more purple than green. If you can't tell by the aesthetic of things. Wait. Yeah. Pro oh, okay, probably purple then. All right, purple, got it. A fine color. Which season? I like winter. I like fall a lot for spooky season. It actually kind of floats between the two, but I'm currently a winter. I like the cold weather. I do, I do. I actually do. It always sucks when it's like a wet winter, but dry winters aren't too bad. I love when like the trees get like the icicles where it's like not necessarily icicles hanging from it, but it looks like the tree's like covered in like a layer of icicle. I don't know. I think it's very pretty. <laughs> and winter fashion. Oh, I don't care about fashion. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm a VTuber. I don't care to get ready. <laughs> Plus, it's great weather to snuggle in. True, true. Oh, exactly, exactly. Summer can be painful too sometimes. Mind you, I, I, I can't handle the heat. The heat is too much sometimes. But it's always my thought when it comes to temperature anyways, it's always easier to get warm when you're cold than it is to get cold when you're hot. 
But yeah, I think winter is very pretty. I actually miss living in the country because I feel like there's a lot of very nice scenic things. Maybe I, maybe I should go do something in the winter. Maybe I'll do like, not necessarily chalet, but maybe a winter, winter getaway. Probably not. <laughs> I got other trips planned. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Seem like you'd be good for snuggling, ayo. <laughs> We're getting started. That would be good for snuggling. I know! Just the idea of it is just like... Mind-boggling. It's just like... Because you get so used to it and like, especially if you've been in a place for your entire life, you're like, ah, oh, I'm used to the weather always being rainy or oh, I'm always used to the snow and then the summer or like living in like, I guess the southern hemisphere where like the seasons are flipped. I'm just like, oh my god, like December or January being like the hottest month would like freak me out. <laughs> yeah, you down? Oh. Oh, skin to skin contact helps conserve heat and all that. We should test it out for science. I will leave science to more scientific men. And how about just for fun? Okay, okay, I think we can drop it. Um, well... I, uh, then I would be, as you said, down. Wait, 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 we just got a yes! I have wondered what it would be like to hold you, I mean, someone. It's in the same sentence, which means they didn't edit it out, so grim. <laughs> what I'm saying- ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm actually a little lost for words. Oh, I'm, I'm lost for words. <laughs> You're very forward today. <laughs> Not that I mind. Like, at all. In fact, I quite like it. Yes, please be blunt. I'm too stupid to figure it out if you're not. <laughs> May brain go burr. <laughs> but uh, is that meant to be flirting? I uh, what? Flirting? Don't be absurd, mortal. He's got a blush on his cheapy profile's face. He's definitely flirting. The Grim Reaper does not flirt. That would be ridiculous. Wow, you're really wooing me right now. We are being wooed. Anyway, my questions. What about your family? Want to meet the in-laws? Want to meet my family? I don't really- I don't mind if you ask me questions. Uh, what- <laughs> We did kind of joke about marriage. Want- But I'm just gonna say want to meet my family, do you? This man loves this. <laughs> Are they as enthusiastic as you? They're 100% worse. It doesn't really give you a lot of options. Can I imagine? Imagine? Wait, what? Imagine what? I would say they're 100% worse. I'm not really much of a black sheep in my family. I just go with that. That doesn't really give you a lot of options, but my family's pretty tame. Just a fair warning. What do you want to know about them, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks for the head bed. <laughs> oh, we both get head pads. Nice, nice, Bale. Let's go. <laughs> do you have any family? Yep, I do. Mm, I see them pretty often. We're close. I'm just answering these as me. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to come up with a character. Some of them. Uh, we we look fairly far, but we're close. <laughs> I don't mind driving. Canada's big. It needs to be driven around, you know. Take some time to get places. So we catch up when we can. Yes, 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 indeed we do. That sounds nice. Do you have a family, Grim? Do you enjoy the proximity? I do. I do and I don't. There's ups and downs to living close to family. I'm really close with my family. I've been considering moving for a while so I can have more space. 
Oh, are we trying to insinuate we'd move to the underworld? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I bet you need more space. I like decorating. I want more room for collectibles. Things are getting a little... So, by the current place that I just moved to has too much space. <laughs> but I... I... I don't think I want a garden. I'm just gonna say I like decorating. Because I think it's fun. It's kinda nice when you get to a new place just to be like, Ooh, I can put this there, that there. Oh, I can put this. I could buy this and add this. So, it's kinda fun. <laughs> suppose that makes sense. My boat is quite small, but I've never thought of upgrading. I wonder if it's just a like little apartment. I'm not sure if it's an option. Oh yeah, I guess he's in the underworld. He did say he had his own house, though, so... Hey, you can share a place with me. <laughs> I don't need an entire house myself. True, though. I don't know how people live in mansions, by the way. Like, how do people live in houses? Not but they, I know how they live in houses. I should correct myself. But, like, how do people use all their space like when they have like mansions let's say it's like a five or six bedroom but they like only four bedrooms are like in use and then like they have like a ballroom or like a like this is super fancy super fancy but like a piano room and i'm just like oh i would go in there maybe once a year like <laughs> exactly exactly i feel like it would just feel so empty and like unused and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I like seeing a house that's like a little lived in, you know? It makes the place, place feel a little homier. Why would you want to live with me? Because we're getting married. <laughs> no mortal, you wouldn't like living with me. Do you hog the sheets? Now we're insinuating we'd be in bed with them. Snore super loud? That's not what I meant at all. And no, I do neither of these things. I see. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't know, eh? Unless someone's there to tell you. Vote to call him out. Oh, Grim, we cannot be. You steal all the blankets, and I was chilled to the bone. And you snore so loudly I could not hear my own thoughts. I am very lucky to have never lived with anyone that snores insanely loudly to the point I hear them. <laughs> you have a vivid imagination. Snoring is fine, it's the really loud snores, it's just like, oh. I'm pretty good at falling asleep though. When I do sleep, I just pass out. But mind you, I can't sleep during the day or any of that. If I know it's light out, my body's just like, nah. Which is why it was a struggle to go to bed at 7 this morning. I literally ducked under the covers and hoped for the best. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Aku. My condolences. <laughs> Don't like to share my own space. That's fair. I'm very much the same. So there's no way for me to convince you? I. Why would you ever want to live with me? I will never understand. You didn't even know I existed a week ago. That's a- that's reasonable. Absolutely. I- I agree with this. <laughs> very fair, very fair. Stranger danger. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but once this week is over, I'll own your soul. Oh. Then we can revisit this. Yes, yes, anyone who does not know, we are currently in a bit with the Grim Reaper. Where he has a week to get our soul, or we get his soul. And, uh, for some reason, our soul's a little funky. And we think that's why we haven't died yet, because we were supposed to apparently die to natural causes a little while ago. Like, a long while ago, actually. But, uh, he's here to try and get it, but he's been struggling. We just have really good luck <laughs> to not die. <laughs> Definitely will not, but sure. Backtrack in a few steps, then. My family? Got my mom and dad, I got two moms, I got two dads. My mom raised me, my dad raised me, my older I've got mom and dad. It's a lot of options, that's good. They raised me together. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me that cats go woof and dogs go meow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just a goofy little thing they told me once. <laughs> 
careless life at Versailles. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly, exactly. They only taught me the best. The most important information. It's actually kind of funny. Everyone on my dad's side of the family met their significant others at a bar, so it's just like, ah. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know how, but literally him and every single one of his siblings, I'm just like, oh wow. My dad, not much of a dancer apparently, wooed my mom with his goofy little dance. <laughs> The moment their eyes met, they were drawn to one another. They told me it was fate. Not... I don't think anyone says that. I don't know. I'm the kind of person where I'm like, ah, soulmates. Not really my thing. I kind of... Like, I don't think there's a single person that's, like, meant for you out there. But I think you can find people that you're, like, compatible with that, like, to an extent that they could be, like, a soulmate kind of thing. But yeah, yeah, it's super cute. <laughs> <laughs> Some soulmates never find their other half. Some won't even know their soul called for another. Ah, uh, see, I knew they were gonna go on to soulmates, and I was just like, yeah, no. No. Wait, so soulmates are an actual thing? I know, I know that, I get that, I get that. I would love, I'd love for that to exist, but ugh, I don't think it does. How do you know if you find them? <laughs> we need this information, Grim. We need it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm a very realistic person. <laughs> you wanna know? It's quite rare. Oh. Are you my soulmate, Grim? Hmm? How would I know? Seems like a question to ask yourself. Well, you seem quite interested in my soul. <laughs> Wait, if someone else is my soulmate, they might take offense at you being so keen for my soul. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, sorry to them, but your soul belongs to me. <laughs> Literal <laughs> soulmates, indeed, indeed. I mean, I guess it'll be someone owning someone's soul by the end of this week. <laughs> So don't go getting any ideas thinking you can get out of our arrangement. Damn, you totally just foiled all my plans. Do you have any siblings? I do, I do. Uh, oh, I got a brother, I got brothers, I got a sister, I have sisters. I have a sibling, I have siblings, I have a brother and a sister. I have lots of brothers and sisters. I have siblings. I, I don't think my siblings are nuisances. If if you're here, I don't think you're a nuisance. <laughs> I don't. I do love you, though. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are lurking. <laughs> they know I stream. <laughs> do you have any siblings from? <laughs> I do not. And thank the lords for that. You do give only child vibes, so I'm not surprised. I feel like that's like an offensive thing to say. I mean, most of the time people don't mean it offensively, but I feel like it's derog- not derogatory, but like it, it, it's like, I don't know, bad vibe, bad vibe, but it's like not actually a bad vibe. Because it's just like, oh, you have only child vibes, like you have a lonely vibe. <laughs> How so? Just the way you act. Discuss that the idea of sharing. And sometimes you're kind of demanding. <laughs> Are we calling him a spoiled brat? I take what I want when I want it. Exactly. I got you, Grim. I got you. I got you all understood. It's my right as a reaper. I bet if you had a sibling, they'd put you in your place. <laughs> I know my place. Sure, buddy. There goes his ego again, flying through the roof. <laughs> so that's the family questions out of the way, then. What's- what was the next question? I actually don't remember. I require any names of mortals who tickle your fancy. What exactly do you need that for? I feel like he might go on a murder spree. It's okay, it's okay, you can borrow my name. It's only for cutting cake, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
but if you need to borrow it, let me know. <laughs> e true Aku. True. <laughs> I will have them taken care of. See? See? I have a knife. I think my idea of taking care of and yours are probably very different. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? What will you do with the information, huh? Hmm? <laughs> I don't think I look that intimidating. <laughs> I've been told I look intimidating, but I really don't. I'm just like a 5'3 ginger running around doing things. I'm just- I do- I do kind of have a resting bitch face, but that's only because I do it on purpose, in public anyways, and then sometimes I just accidentally do it and I'm like, oh no, no, no. But then I usually try to smile at people. I have a resting bitch face and I smile at people. I think it's good to smile at people. Although I don't like making eye contact. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Too scary. Too scary. Plan on taking their souls prematurely? Their souls? No, that would be against the code. I'll just make sure they do not get in my way out. Huh? I see, I see. Give them a little spook. In my way of getting your soul, of course. Nothing else, nothing whatsoever. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> for sure, Grim, for sure. I think I should keep these names to myself. Tell me immediately. Ah, uh, no. I'm good. I'm good. What if I command you to tell me? I'm laughing you for being edgy and for bringing back the edge, the edge ward. Call outs. Tell me. Tell me. No, no, no. You should do as you're told. There's no point in making this more difficult than it needs to be. For me, for me, buddy. I ain't gotta do nothing. I'm waiting, mortal. I don't need random people getting in the way of my work. Yeah, yeah. What? Do, how do you think they're gonna interfere? You're the great almighty never makes any mistakes reaper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do not wish to find out. So just give me the names and do not worry about it. There must be someone, right? Say there's no one. There's no one, Grim. Well, that makes my job a bit easier, because the only one we have in our heart right now is Grim. <laughs> yes, we raven. Having a party. Having a party without you, Grim. <laughs> Suppose no maiming will need to occur today. I knew it. He's the one having a party. A murder party. <laughs> Whoops, did I say that? You wouldn't really do that, would you? Who knows? Why? It'll be fine. No one, no one can get in your way. You're perfect at your job. I'm serious about my work. I do not want anyone getting in the way. I'm getting in the way currently. I literally, you've been trying to kill me for a while. <laughs> yes, hello, Fizz. Even if there's someone special in my life. Welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? How's Ragnarok going? Or I guess the Valhalla. I guess Valhalla Ragnarok? Yeah, I, sorry, no, what? I don't understand. I, wait, Dr. Evil, Dr. Evil. What, what's Dr. Evil from? <laughs> <laughs> Hand smoldering. Yes, yes, yes. We are. We have been flirting with the boy Grim. Oh, oh, that Doctor Evil. Oh, oh. I hope he can get the big boss beat down. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Of course, of course. I guess it's pretty new, because I feel like I've seen only a couple people playing it. Why, oh, it's been a long time since I watched that Stim Powers. I should watch it again. 
Because I remember my dad showing it to me way back when, but I don't really remember too much about it. I remember the gold, gold guy. I remember the like mini me, and then I remember the cat that turns into a sphinx cat. I don't really remember much about the plot. Movie night? Oh, we could do a movie night. I'd be down. I'll I'll come up with a day that works. I'm pretty busy this week, so I got stream, stream, games, games, community night, stream. Well, I'll figure it out. I will pick a day. Maybe we'll do a movie Monday or something like that. Actually, yeah, maybe we'll do it on Monday. I don't know. We'll see, we see, we see. I'll figure something out. Wouldn't be able to stop a Grim Reaper. I don't share sunshine. Oh yeah, he got his sunshine because our soul is like the sun, apparently. Share what? You, obviously. Aw, oh, luckily there really is no one. But why? Why is there no one else? Dude, you can't just be- Oh, I can't- I can't- I'm, I'm playing, um... Oh my god, my brain's dying. Pico got me a game invite for a game and we're going to be playing that together and I forget what the name of it is. It's Lock something. I feel like it's Lock. Deadlock? Maybe? I'm going to be trying it out with Pico. Pico's going to teach me the ropes. Deadlock, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to be giving it a go. So we'll see. We're gonna be vibing on that. I literally had never like heard of the game and Pika's like, here. I was like, oh, okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't on Thursday. But we will pick a day. I see, I see. Maybe we'll have to set it up. Might have to set something up then, but we will pick another time for Fortnite as well. Unfortunately, this week is packed, but maybe next week. We will see, we will see. Why do you not have someone? Oh, dude, you can't just call me out like this. <laughs> You're so... so what? Hmm? So what? Uh... How could you not have a special person? Asking why I'm single right now. Cause the Riz is El Riz. <laughs> I'm El Riz. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yes, I do not understand. You're well. Never mind. Nah, nah, nah. You cough it up, buddy. Cough it up. Yeah, you gotta give it to me. You gotta give it to me. I'm white, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let me know. Have you seen yourself? You're trying to insult me or compliment me? Hmm? Did I tell you how absolutely awful you look? <laughs> nah, he's gonna say, yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did not. That would be because I can't lie. Ooh, that was smooth. That was so very smooth. W Riz indeed, very W Riz. <laughs> so, surely people have asked to court you. Court. Nah, 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 nah. Court is such an old term, Grim. Never actually dated anyone. I find that hard to believe. I'm not lying. I might not have to tell the truth, but I can choose to tell the truth. Mm hmm. No one ever asked me out. Not one person has ever asked to court you. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No flowers or fancy dates. That's okay. That's okay, character. Character solar spike versus solar spike. It's okay. No chocolates or anything on Valentine's. That's okay. My friends and I, I get my friend stuff for Valentine's Day. It's nice. 
nice just to get a little gift every once in a while. I give a gift, you know? Feels good, feels good. Especially some people take those holidays a little more seriously than others, so it's kind of nice to do something for those people that are like, Oh, I really wish this could happen. And it's like, oh, okay, let me let me do that for you. As your friend, I would love to... I'd love to do that for you. Oh, I never used to make chocolate, but I would always, like, buy the packs. And then you have, like, you write your little card thing on it. I think we usually got lollipops. I think. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of joy. Valentine. <laughs> Let's nuke that day. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an excuse for people to do... It, it's currently as it is in its current state, a very commercialized thing, but... I don't know. It's actually like the opposite of all like Halloween, so I think that's kind of cool. Like if you look into the actual history of Valentine's Day, it's it's pretty cool. But it's like, yeah, what it is today. I mean, I don't mind. I think if some people can be happy. I mean, it's unfortunate because a lot of people. It also makes them sad. But it's like you know, it's nice to have an excuse to celebrate. But it also sucks that like some people. It it kind of makes people feel left out too so it's no winning <laughs> you're interested in that sort of thing food flowers personally personally i don't i think flowers are a nice gesture and stuff like that but i can't keep things alive for shit <laughs> and i know flowers aren't meant to last but i'm like oh i feel bad <laughs> I think so. I don't need anything fancy. If someone got me flowers, of course I would love it. But I'm just like, uh, uh. Like, I'm in a basement right now, so I can't really grow anything. But my sister gave me, like, one of her, like, uh, the thing that comes off the little, little baby plant. And, like, I've been growing it, and apparently it's really hard to kill, and it's been kind of alive. But I haven't had to water it, and I'm kind of worried I overwatered it, and now it's just not drinking water because it's dead. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> Part of his edgy aesthetic. I think so. I don't need anything fancy. Mm -mm. It would be nice to get some flowers or something. What about you, Ingram? You said yesterday you've never been in love. But that doesn't mean you never dated or had a crush on any someone. Any underworldlings? Worldings? Worldings? Yeah, underworldings. Take your fancy. Underworldings. <laughs> no. Any mortals? Hmm? Maybe the mortal you're chatting with currently? Well? And on to the final question. Right or left side of the bed? Uh, If I have to answer, so do you. I have a double bed. I like to be on both sides of the bed, but currently I tend to be on the right side of the bed just because I have it up against the wall and the left side's against the wall. And I like to not have to roll twice to get out of bed, so I'm on the right side most of the time. Although I should probably flip my mattress around because it's starting to dip. Maybe I need a new mattress. I choose to pass. Left or right side. Alright. Noted. Those were all the questions I had prepared. Oh, true, true. Although I think it's shorter horizontally, so I don't think I would fit. I think my feet would hang off. I did one time fall asleep and then ended up with my head at the bottom of the bed and my feet at the top, and I'm not sure how. I'm a roller. I'm a roller. So. So you can ask me again why it took so long to respond, or whether I thought your approach to this little game was wrong. Fine, answer them this time then. Was my approach wrong? Maybe you asked was a little strange. We're just gonna tease them a bit. Approach was fine, just phrase things kind of strangely. Like you're interested, but don't see don't want to seem too interested. Calling them out, I like this, I like this. Aw, you're so obvious sometimes. It's so sweet. Obvious in what way? Obviously really interested in getting to know me. Hey, let's go. Oh, also. You rambled to yourself again. Okay, last time you did that was when we first met. Oh, 
Oh, my true, true, true. <laughs> the giant lines of text. I did not ramble then. Yes, yes. Kind of did. Had a little chat to yourself. I think it was like at least 15 messages before we responded. It's for like, who the hell is trying to scam us right now? And now we're in a situation with a reaper that's trying to get our soul. Just happens, I guess. Just happens. Every normal day kind of things. Nope, you're remembering incorrectly. I would not make such a fool of myself. I'm the Grim Reaper. <laughs> sure, buddy. If you say so, Grim. <laughs> I was simply testing the program to ensure it ran correctly. Ah, excuses. I see. Excuses. That is all. Well, it definitely did. Saw them just in time to witness something hilarious. Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. Your life extended warranty has run out? What is it? It's- yeah, usually the meme is the, um... Sorry to- is it sorry to bother you? No, it is. Excuse me. It is excuse me. I'm like, my brain is dying. <laughs> Excuse me. Your, uh... Car's extended warranty... is renewed. <laughs> I love little goofy memes like that where people are just popping out and saying shit. <laughs> right as you yelled, fuck me. Definitely a way to introduce yourself to someone and it did get our attention. It did get our attention. <laughs> Agua. <clears throat> Never gonna let you live it down. Never let anyone live it down. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yay! I'm so joyful at the prospect. Drink water, you dehydrated. <laughs> thank you, thank you. When it comes to these games, where it's like, I mean, if I'm just chatting, I'd also axes on my throat. But like these kinds of games, it's like, ah, oh, it's so much talking. Not that I'm complaining. I'm fine with it. I just I don't do a lot of talking in my everyday, so it's like exercise for my vocal cords. <laughs> I also have to tend to try to be quiet just because there's people that live in the upstairs so I'm just like ah, I can't yell. Ah. Not that I yell in my day today but the option is not there. <laughs> I'm glad. Hee hee hee. Little smiley face. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, is there something? I like the nickname Little Reaper. It's kind of cute. Yes, is there something I can help you with, Little Reaper? Simply bored of typing out my responses to your stupidity. Mm, I see, I see. I don't see Azrael. I'm kind of upset. Mean, but fair. I get that, I get that. You're the one spouting nonsense. I know you don't mind. Hee hee hee. You wouldn't talk to me like this if you did. You just take my soul and be done with it. <laughs> right? I'll take it when the time is right. There's nothing wrong with taking my time. Someone is struggling. <laughs> We're calling him out. I think he is struggling. Hmm. You appear to be running low on time though. Yeah, I guess two days and then your soul is mine, remember? That will not be happening. I I do not struggle. <laughs> nah, nah, we're gonna win. I, I never lose. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the like, meme that was going around where it's like, ah, oh, I never lose, but it's like, uh, they're referring to their virginity. They're like, I never lose. Like, everyone's like, oh my god, you're still virgin. And they're like, yeah, it's because I never lose. <laughs> I forget what that's from. But I do remember that existing on the internet at some point. <laughs> Statistically speaking, I'm just as likely to win this bet as you are. Another foolish assumption. Okay, buddy, okay. You're always so cocky. <laughs> a reaper of classes a human in every way. Statistically, you cannot win. I think I'm doing a decent job. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
considering I'm still, you know, alive. Maybe I'm just letting you have it until the last possible moment. Or maybe you just can't take it. Oh, you angry now. One Sonic meme. I I don't. Mm, what's? Mm, I don't think I know. I'd say Haku. <laughs> I do want to watch the new Sonic movie. I've been seeing stuff go around about it. I haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I did like the first one. Ah, thank you, thank you, Aku. I actually um. I also have to play Sonic. I have two Sonic games. Sonic 2 and uh, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I want to play both at some point. Hee hee. Hee hee. You're fortunate, you know? Oh. Um, I have the Reaper assigned to your case. Another would not put up with you like I do. Another one would probably have not broken the rules and, you know, done the thing. Where, like, you know, you're not supposed to talk to your... Reaped. Mm. Yeah, I do feel lucky to have met you. Huh. That is enough meaningless shatter. Okay, okay. What were you doing, mortal? <laughs> Looking at you? Hee hee hee. Aw, I thought we were gonna blush. We didn't get a blush. That much is obvious. I meant before that. I apologize. I forgot to... I have to be awfully clear with you. <laughs> hmm. You and your small brain. Uh, it's actually smooth. <laughs> it's very wrinkly though. No, 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 no. It's smooth. It's smooth. I, I it's smooth. <laughs> what do you want to know? Someone's being nosy. Just answer the question. Such a bossy boy. Alright, Mr. Insistent. Well... Hmm, before your 50 questions... There wasn't 50. There's going to be 50. There's been a lot of questions already. It's nowhere near 50. You that poor at counting? I think he doesn't understand sarcasm. You're nearly 50 questions I was. Well, not doing much actually. Hanging out around my apartment. Playing with Gregory. Gregory was acting a little strange earlier. I thought he might be sick, but he perked right back up. Yes, Gregory is our puppy. We've had him for like a year. He's very cute. Suppose I just have a healing presence. Maybe you do. I actually just got home from work, but I have the next few days off. You do? You want to hang out? He's puppy dogs. I love dogs. Figured if I was gonna die, I didn't want to spend my last days at work. But I know I'll be fine anyway. So I'm just gonna enjoy my little at home vacation. I see. And your plans for later? I'm gonna hit the town of party. Maybe I'll go for a walk? Honestly, I think I'll stay at home. Most evenings I do. <laughs> Perfect. Nothing beats staying at home in your pages after all. Do you have any PJ? Do you have any PJ scrim? It's kind of an odd question. Do you think I sleep in this? Yeah, I was gonna say he probably does have PJs or he just doesn't sleep. <laughs> Can't picture you wearing anything else. Of course I have pajamas. They're black and very comfortable. Yep, you're definitely the type to only wear black or I guess you have red pants. And your gloves are red and gray, but darker colors, I guess. I, I like to wear darker colors as well. <laughs> I'm very much the same. I usually wear black, gray, maybe a like navy, dark blue, sometimes green. I do like beige colored like cargo pants though. And like white shorts. But I never I don't own any white shirts. <laughs> I think, yeah, most of my shirts are grey or black, but most of them are like graphic tees. <laughs> what kind are they? Why do you care? I want to imagine you in them. <laughs> we'll call him cute. He'd look cute in pajamas. <laughs> so short sleeved and shorts. Are you happy now? Immensely. Hee hee hee. What about you? 
Oh, the Grim Reaper wants to know what my PJs look like. <laughs> oh, so many QT motes. Probably long sleeves. I, I wear pajama pants and sometimes I just wear sweaters. I find sweaters comfy in the day to day and in the sleep. Well, this is obviously useful information for my job, of course. Sure, I see that blush. I see that blush, Grim. <laughs> I know what's up. Yes, uh huh. Um, so you won't go anywhere tonight? Good, this works for me. Stay right there. <gasps> Wait, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready for this. Did it disconnect? Is, is, is... Oh, I ended the call. That was a little sudden. No goodbye or anything. Such a shame. Is everything alright? Yep, everything's good. Eh. Wait, four? Just wait, be patient for a bit. Okay. You step back from your computer, you're not sure what you're waiting for exactly, but you might as well hang out until he messages you again. Spend a little time with Gregory and check the moisture of your sprout. Oh, I didn't even notice this part. Eventually you can't find anything fun to do while you wait for Grim to get back in contact. Honestly, it worries you a little just how dependent you've become on talking to him. It's fine. You lie back on your bed, staring at the ceiling. You only met him five days ago, but it feels like a lifetime you've known each other. Putting aside the fact that he's the Grim Reaper, you've honestly never enjoyed someone's company as much as his. Oh. Yes, this is Gregory, our boy. Every time we can interact with him, we have interacted with him. It's his favorite spot on the bed. He's always there. <laughs> it's a little confusing. You know full well what this strange feeling in your heart is, but try to put it aside. As fun as talking to him is... Ah, oh, okay, now we're having issues with him being the Grim Reaper. <laughs> you wander back over to your computer. It's been around 30 minutes now. There's still nothing. Disappointed, you go to turn away when you see an incoming call. Welcome back. Oh, look up. You look up from your computer out towards the night sky, and on the other side of the currently closed window, you see something so surprising. You should be what's imagining it. Or just I think I'm like not on the first floor. <laughs> huh? Uh what are you doing here? Now that face is priceless. Well worth the trip here, I have to say. This is our first time meeting him in person. Grim, don't call me that to my face. Oh, he's blushing. It's embarrassing enough to hear it over our calls. Huh. It's Casper. That's my real name. <gasps> we got the real name! Hell yeah, Casper. <laughs> Casper the Ghost Grim Reaper. <laughs> Let's go. Very nice. I love his fit. Oh my god. He's so stylish. I have no style, sense of fashion. He looks so cool. Casper. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> you look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> yeah, Casper the ghost. <laughs> Maybe I have. A really pretty one. Far from a ghost, Sully. Are you sure? Certain. So, you admit you're pretty. No. I'll admit that you are, though. Hey, 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 it's smooth. <laughs> oh? Which you should know to be truthful. Aw, oh, he's embarrassed. He's looking away. Because, as you know, well, I cannot lie. 
Uh, am I blustering you? You're blushing right now. You you were just blushing a second ago, buddy. <laughs> nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you look rather cute, don't you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop turning away. I'm trying to get a good look at you. There's no need to be shy anyway. You're attractive. That's nothing to be shy about. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be uh, frozen. Nice to see you looking flustered for a change. <laughs> Grim. Casper. Casper, then. Yes, mortal. How are you even here? Wait a second. Yeah, okay, I knew we were on the fifth. I was like, I, er, I knew we were up high. You do. Not too much of an inconvenience for me, luckily. How are you standing, sitting, whatever you're doing there? <laughs> I'm neither sitting nor standing. <laughs> I think, are we floating or is, is, are we floating? God, is he floating or is it like an illusion? <laughs> I can literally see you on the other side of this window. Congratulations, would you like an award? <laughs> but you'll find I'm floating. Ah, uh, what the hell? Alright, I'll add this to the list of things I wasn't expecting today. I feel like I've been cheating out of some very important information about you. I- I think- I think the Grim Reaper would be able to fly. Since always. I was gonna say, I would be more surprised if a Grim Reaper couldn't fly. If I met a Grim Reaper IRL. <laughs> Why do you act so surprised? Floating five stories up- no, I was- why is this what we're panicking over? He literally entered our mind and left a part of his consciousness in there. Wait, can people see you? I think I would be so careless. Mm, I don't know, would you be? I've passed the glamour. Oh, okay. I literally just said this, so <laughs> we're gonna go with that. Are you invisible then? Invisible? No. I've taken another form to everyone's eyes but yours. So my neighbors aren't going to see a mysterious man floating outside my window. If they were to look, they'd simply see a raven. So a raven's just floating in front of my window? <laughs> a raven, of course. Why not something a little more cute? You should have picked a bet. <laughs> Bringing back the vampire. But now Veil's vale, the only bet. I like ravens. Ravens are cool. So are crows. Not a good choice. You have a predictable side to you sometimes. But I do need to know, yeah? How did you find me? Uh, he's been trying to kill us. Like, he literally set our elevator to drop several floors just the other day. Think I didn't know where you lived? I'm dead. Oh, gosh. Never told you our character. Our character. Come on, man. Put the pieces together. <laughs> I know everything about you, Sunshine. So I assume you've come to claim it? My soul, that is? I had a good run, I suppose. No? I'm actually not here for that. You are? I know you can't lie, but that sounds like a lie. It's not. What are you here for then, my friend? I know. Do you just drop by to say hi then? No? I'm here because... I have something, um, something here with me, hidden. Something to give you. Here. Oh my god, he got us flowers! <laughs> Cause my character literally said that we wouldn't mind some flowers. For me? Is there anyone else here? Yes, you stupid moral. <laughs> You said you'd like some. You got me flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. I don't think... I didn't think to ask what type of flower she likes, so... I picked ones that looked like you. Oh, the sunflowers for his sunshine. That's so cute. I like that. 
I've done that before too, where someone's like, I can really go for this, or I really like this, and then you get that for them, and it's just, it's very nice. It's nice seeing that bring a smile to people's faces. Very cute, very cute. <laughs> the brightest, sunniest flowers I could find. Characters literally speechless, Casper. Yes, mortal. Thank you. You know, if you want them, you're going to have to open the window. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Are you gonna come in? Are you inviting me in? Oh, this is the vampire thing where we have to let them in. I'll promise to try and be good. Wait, wait. Easy. <laughs> Oh, I feel like it can be a little dangerous, then please do come in. Uh, though I'm greatly pleased by the invitation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I actually don't think I have any- I have garlic powder. <laughs> I do not have any actual garlic, does that count? <laughs> I'm greatly pleased by the invitation. Maybe next time, little human. If you change your mind, but you really will have to open it at least a crack if you want these. Open the window. There we go. Oh. <laughs> You're quite the risk taker, aren't you? Are you telling me I should be scared, huh? I'm not scared of anything. I play horror games. <laughs> I just also don't get very scared very easily. <laughs> Simply making an observation. What fun would life be if we weren't taking at least a few risks, huh? True, true. Here you go, Solar. Very nice. Your hands are really warm. You're still quite cold, even through the gloves. They're really pretty. How can hands be pretty? Uh, they, there's hand models. The insurance they have on those things are crazy. <laughs> I meant the flowers. But your hands are quite pretty too, now that you mentioned it. Whoops, even I got confused with that, uh, Casper, so like... I still think I'll call him Grim. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll be on call and they'll be like, mm, call, call me, call me Grim again. <laughs> and I'd say your hands are also very um, nice. Who would have thought hands could be so alluring? What are you whispering? Hmm? I really must be on my way. I've accomplished this thing I wanted to do. So soon, duty always calls. Ah, uh, time to get back to work. I get it, I get it. Off to steal souls, then? I don't know if I would call his job stealing souls necessarily, but better theirs than yours, wouldn't you say? No, you can just hand over yours now. If you want. <laughs> better get to work before you get in trouble, my little reaper. This one am I yours at the end of the week, buddy? Hehehe. <laughs> Since the moment we met. Don't be damaging my goods, you hear? Stealing souls? Nah, no, stealing hearts? Hell yeah! You got it, Aki, you got it! You know what's up? <laughs> so demanding. Casper? Solar? Do be careful. Since you asked nicely, I'll try my best. Don't forget to close that window after I leave. Oh, that's nice. Taking care of us. Not that anything should come in on the fifth floor through the window, but you know, you never know. There could be another reaper. I wouldn't want anyone crawling in when you aren't looking. Ooh, we got new items in the gallery. I assume that, uh, image sprite's gonna be there. You went out for a few errands today, but mostly you hung out around home. It's a good chance for a little out-of-season spring cleaning. Ah, I do that. I do that a lot. Actually, we'll probably do a decent little clean this weekend. Either my car or my place. Not both, that's too much. <laughs> All day, you kept an eye out for Casper and his attempts to take your soul, but there was nothing. No strange fires or collapsing elevators or brakes cut on the bus. Today, for the first time in a long time, nothing strange happened to you. And for some reason, it felt weirder than if something bad had. Gregory! How you doing, buddy? 
seems to be doing well today. You sit down on the bed next to him and think towards the future. Have you ever managed to afford a house with the market looking like it is? You would love to. A bird would be nice. You want more dogs? Uh, probably not. I am a single person as much as I would love to have multiple dogs. Like, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would want multiple dogs, but I, I want to give all my love and attention to puppy. Gregory Braniff? Gregory, you're my superstar. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Rose, Rose named Gregory. <laughs> Pets need so much time, effort, and love and money. One pet, there's plenty. Yes, yes. <laughs> Wait, you like my Freddy? Or the what's his name? What are what are those ones called? The oh my god, I don't know what that version of the animatronic is called. My my brain break. My brain break. For now, you enjoy Gregory's company immensely. You hope that Grim Reaper and Strange Soul notwithstanding, you have many fun times ahead of you together. Glamrock, right, right, right. Gr Glamrock, Freddy. What you poking me for, huh? Trying to get my brain joined? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Door? You hear footsteps from the hallway. You wonder if it's your neighbors again. Each drop, you hear sniffling coming from the hallway and then the sound of someone sliding down to the floor. You imagine someone is currently leaning against the doorway of their apartment. I didn't realize I could click on the door this entire time. You hear a fumbling, the sound of someone digging through their bag searching for something, then a sigh. A ringing, the sound of someone who desperately seeks another, and then finally a voice. Mom, are you there? Can you talk right now? A light and airy voice starts. No, I'm fine. No, I wasn't crying. I just wanted to talk for a bit, if that's okay. Another sniffle. Nothing happened, really. I just confused and I lost my keys, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Silence for a minute. You imagine their mother is currently fretting, trying to console their child, despite not knowing what's wrong. Have you ever liked someone so much that it's made you terrified? I really like them, Mom. I've only known them for like a week, but I feel like it's been so much longer. Yeah, poor... poor guy. I'm scared. There's vulnerability in that voice. Immense vulnerability. It's nice that they can go to their mom with that, though. He's very nice. Your voice is like a plea to something they cannot see. Like a wish upon a star. I want to understand them. I want to make things work, but I'm scared I'll make things worse. Navigating relationships are hard, especially in the beginning, because you're not really sure much about the other person. Even if you've known them for a while, once you enter a, like, uh, romantic relationship, it's like, oh. Gotta figure out how this works. <laughs> I'm scared that neither of us are what we expect of each other. The fear of not living up to expectations, the fear of misunderstanding, such human emotions. I know, Mom. I know I should talk to them, but it's so much. It's like there's this weight, this secret between us, and I don't know how to bridge the gap. I think I heard them say something last night, something important, but they didn't open up completely, and now I'm torn in between wanting to know and being afraid of what I might discover. An internal struggle, a deep desire, but mom, I can't stay away. I've never believed in fate, but this is- I just- I need some guidance. What do I do? Silence again. You imagine their mother is speaking words of wisdom, filled with kindness, love, and worry. Okay, I'll go talk to them tomorrow and make a decision. Thank you, Mom. Love ya. Sound of the call ending reaches you even beyond the hallway, and then there's silence. You hope they find their keys. Yeah, they need, they need a win. They need a win. Sitting on your bed, you have a perfect view of the certain bouquet of yellow flowers that was given to you yesterday. Where is it? It's all screen, given to you by the Grim Reaper of all people. Casper of all people, actually. Thought makes you somewhat giddy. Who could have guessed that strange talking weirdo could be such a romantic? Though you never received flowers before, you've given them to someone else. A family member, I guess. You've always thought of flowers as a special thing, a simple thing, but still special. 
and you felt very special when you looked at the flower Casper brought you yesterday. Check your computer time. What's in the gallery? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? That was an old one, but I was just... Yeah, okay, I kind of figured. Oh. This is the art. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I love how they include like the art in the game. I love just seeing that. Oh, no, no, return. I keep hitting it as if it's like a real game. So I'm like, oh, escape. Well, let's see what the voice- Oh, actually, what's on the internet today? Only Reapers? Wait, 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 guys. Guys, he found his only fans. <laughs> Feeling a little catty today? <laughs> Wait a second. Oops, I seem to drop something on the floor. Thanks for picking it up for me. Oh no, don't lift my shirt. <laughs> um, not what I was expecting on the internet. Well, actually, I should okay. On the internet in the game. I expect this kind of shit on the actual internet all the time, but... <laughs> Let's go to the chat room. Mm. I keep looking at the flowers. I... I was gonna say, I just want to thank you again. They're really pretty. Oh, it's profile pics from him last night. Good, I'm glad to see they are appreciated. The struggle was worth it. Struggle? What struggle? You don't have any florists near you? He is in the underworld. These aren't from a florist, and no, there are no florists here. He went and grabbed them himself. Where are they from? The yard of some other mortal. <laughs> For such a frail woman, she gave quite a chase. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I get the need to protect your like garden and stuff like that. I absolutely do. But it's kind of nice if people could just, you know, pick flowers and stuff for their... For, you know, to gift. But, like, I totally get it. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. You're a little old lady thief. <laughs> that makes it sound like I'm stealing old ladies. <laughs> Who says you aren't? You could be stealing their souls. Me, anyway. Stretch? Oh yeah, I can stretch. Oh. I'm stretching so hard I'm off screen. Mm. Oh, that was a nice good back crack. Thank you for the stretch. Thank you, thank you. Is it stealing if it was hanging over the other side of the fence? Ah, the technicalities. Legally, I think yes. Legalities mean nothing to me. I know, you're above the law, Grim. <laughs> Casper, I guess. I'm above such things. She had plenty anyway. They're in much better hands now. I mean... They probably will die with my character at some point. Haven't you seen my plant during our calls? It's right near my bed. Your camera doesn't point at your bed, mortal. I can't say I would mind it if it did point that way, though. Oh? I just, uh... Eh, nah, nah, I ain't call, call him out on it. I ain't gonna call him out on it. Simply for research purposes, maybe. Wow, ah, Casper. What, is that an issue? Feeling coy? It is possibly something important to my job as a reaper, maybe. Is that how you get around not being able to lie? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> also, maybe and possibly? Quite possibly have no clue what you're maybe talking about. <laughs> I see, I see. But no, I haven't seen your plant by the bed. It's not looking very alive. 
You want to come reap its soul? I'm not holding out hopes for the flowers to be laid. <laughs> They've already been cut from their source, so they won't last forever. I'll just get more for you if they shrivel up. Oh, okay. <laughs> what in the next day before you meant? What in the next day before you you were meant to take my soul? Oh yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, he. Oh, he didn't want to be reminded. Why would you do that for me? Does there need to be a reason? I simply feel like it. Hmm. No, I suppose not. I'm on to you, Grim. I'm on to you. I know what's up. Good. I enjoy seeing your expression when I presented them to you. I do not usually do quote unquote good things, <laughs> nor did I understand why someone would. Perhaps now I understand it to some degree. Yes, seeing people's reactions is, is very, very fun. <laughs> so I'm just wondering something. Are you feeling okay today? Why did we ask that? I'm confused. Why wouldn't I be feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, so he's confused too. That's good, that's good, that's good. Just acting very... flirtatious, if so, then I'm being successful in my endeavor. Oh. Well, yes. Well, yes. Why, yes? I've read that flirting is a human custom. A custom. Indeed. To flirt with another is to show them that they are of significance to yourself. Or you would like them to be of significance to yourself. So I'm of significance to you? I could be your significant other too. <laughs> You're what I hunt most greatly over everything else. I would say that makes you significant. My research into various flirting methods say that anyway. <laughs> You research flirting methods? That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> You're cute. Cute and stupid. <laughs> yes. It's neither cute nor stupid, it's practical. You do a lot of things that are cute, Grim. And you keep saying, no, no, I'm not cute. You are cute. I'm ensuring the possibility of the best result. That's... is what I do best. Adopt... Uh, adapt to be whatever it is needed. What would be the re best result for you? Hmm? I'm curious. I mean, it is obviously taking your soul weakening your resolve enough to trick you. Uh-huh. Sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> Mortal, I wish I could say I hated you. You're aggravating? Too bad you can't lie, though. Huh? Shut up. <laughs> You're too nosy and annoying and I'm, I will think of more things later. Not necessarily bad things. Surprisingly very soft and cautious. Not words that have ever been used to describe me. The more I get to know you, the less Grim Reaper you seem. Maybe I've shown too much of my true self to you. To be honest, I'm not even sure I have a true self. I exist for my role beyond that. I think you're plenty. You're a cool character. You're built out. You're fleshed out. You're good. I like talking to you. Talking to you. I like talking to you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I like talking with you and seeing the new sides of you. It's not refreshing to just be you. We can just be Casper. We can just chill, do our thing together, you know. It's nice, I suppose. You called me flirtatious, but I believe you're the flirty one here. I've been flirting since the start. I did ask if you wanted to get married. <laughs> right at the beginning, I see that now. I cannot fault you, I am a catch after all. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, do do do. Cute little emote. Why the tooting? That's you tooting your own horn. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting it to go that route, but that's fair, that's fair. Wow, mature. Hey, I didn't say you were wrong. Well, even if you're only flirting with me to get my soul, can't say I mind all that much. Last few good days? You don't. Why not? 
Blow it away, 07. <laughs> That's crazy, 07? What is an 07? It's a salute. 07s. <laughs> Oh yes, I see it now. <laughs> I've never seen the salute. Perhaps I shall adapt it. Oh seven. <laughs> oh, I've come up with another. Oh. Yeah, the Grim Ingram was asking what oh seven was, and now he's come up with another one. This one's the wave. Truly groundbreaking stuff. By the way, he's an absolute genius. No one has ever come up with anything like this before. Uh, I picked up on 07 from another friend. Like, I knew of 07, and then they started doing it, and then I saw Bloodwig doing it, and I was like, oh, this is this is a thing now. It's not a bad thing, so I'm chill, I'm chill. Now I use it. Anytime it seems appropriate. <laughs> Once you get in trouble. For flirting? Well, that's not allowed, of course. No, for telling me classified information. Oh yeah, because Casper's name was classified. Enlighten me. What classified information have I shared with you? Casper? Yeah, yeah. I, I use the XD a lot. I use XD all the time. <laughs> it's like my main emote. The emoticon, not even like an emoji. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I always do the big... Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> or like the awkward smile, I guess. <laughs> the awkward big smile. Said your name was highly classified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not for mortal ears, right? Uh oh, that. Maybe some rules are worth breaking. Hearing you call me grim in person made me feel cringe. <laughs> Who taught you that word? What's the internet teaching you? Hmm? I'm down with the internet lingo, so. <laughs> okay, okay. I know about cringe pogging riz. He knows of the Riz. I haven't even heard of more of this baby girl. Please don't ever say these words again. Pog. Poggers indeed. Poggers indeed. But your opinion has been noted and subsequently disregarded. Sunshine. Whoa, 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 whoa. But seriously, your name is actually classified? Yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that? Correct. If anyone comes and asks about me, then it's best if you kept keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah. He he's 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 pretty interesting. He's very much under a rock, and it's kind of funny to see him come out from under the rock. <laughs> I doubt anyone will, anyway. Especially because I don't think he gets much social interaction, like he said, like his duty is kind of just being a Grim Reaper, so it's kind of fun to see him, like, let loose a bit. Gonna have my soul by tomorrow, right? Right. Oh, he doesn't even want to talk about it. He's like, hmm, always best to be cautious anyway. Though you aren't the most cautious person. You allowed a total stranger to install a messaging program onto your computer. I tried to get rid of it. I don't think I know that one. I'll have to look it up after. Is it an older movie? Newer movie? Then fell in love at first sight with his handsome face and charming personality. I see, I see. Oh no, my guard's so down right now. Wow. How terrible it would be if a Grim Reaper were to suddenly show great interest in me. It's an older one. Oh, okay, okay. Hope he doesn't bring me flowers and tell me how annoying I am. Is it because the under the rock stuff was mentioned, I assume? So 
hope he doesn't bring me flowers and tell me how I'm annoying. How annoying I am. <laughs> Such a wild imagination on you. How did you ever think of something so outrageous? <laughs> you must have been rubbing off on me. Yes, let's tease him a bit. Let's tease him a bit. Now that we are both here, though, on a much more serious note, I must admit to you that. Other than giving you flowers, I had an ulterior motive for my visit. Oh? What is it? What was it? <laughs> Don't misunderstand, Solar. I wanted to give you those flowers. I also wanted to test out a theory I had. Oh. What was it then? I was experiencing another bout of soul sickness yesterday. It was less severe case, but still an awful experience. Okay, okay. Again, it's a really common thing for you reapers, huh? Were you seeing if I was gonna balance out your soul? They have to have a uh, balanced soul in order to continue existing. Actually, no. Well, it never used to be for me. I seem to be more susceptible lately. Which leads me to an important question. Why? Find out why? Let's do this over a call. Wait, is it serious? Are you going to die? Please don't tell me you're dying. I assume it's because part of our his consciousness is in us. Maybe. If that's what you're going to say, I'm not gonna answer. I don't think I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, really inspiring confidence. I mean, true, you're not a doctor, you can't say. I don't know if there's Reaper doctors, but no, listen, I swear, you mortals are so bad at listening. You in particular. No, nah, no, nah, I'm a great listener. I don't know what you're talking about. We talked about this the other day. Think back on it. Do you remember? Vaguely, yeah. My brain, no short term memory, vaguely will do. Do you remember how I felt the day after my sickness? Yep, you are fine. It made no sense. I thought it just a mere coincidence that after linking of our minds, the symptoms disappeared. You jokingly claimed to be the healing me with your presence. And then yesterday? Same thing happened again, didn't it? That morning I was bearing souls across the life stream. And it was like... Hells, if they trace this conversation, the two of us may suffer for all of eternity. At least we be suffering together. A Make it a little lighthearted. Always look on the bright side of things, don't you? I picked the right flowers for you. Bright like a sunflower. Anyway, <laughs> this is important. You seem very stressed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, tell me, maybe I can help. Mm -hmm. Answer the call. Hey. Yo. Hey, I'm really bad. People will say hey, hi, hello to me, and I always respond exactly the way that they say it to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just find it interesting. Well, to put it bluntly, yes. I think it's because of you. Yeah, you're definitely causing it. Me? But exactly, it's because of me. I'm healing the soul sickness I'm experiencing. I've gotten it much more since I've known you. What the? Maybe you're just too radiant. I knew that nickname Sunshine fit you. Are you saying I'm giving you radiation poison? <laughs> Help me, I'm definitely cussing you. Don't you get that from souls? I'm alive. Yes, it is from souls. Yet I've suffered from it regardless. I'm trying to say that I'm doing this on purpose? I'm not really trying to make you sick. I'm not saying you are the cause of the sickness. But I do think you are the cause of why I seem to be more susceptible to it. Okay, explain. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. What does it mean? So see me yesterday made you sick? No, my soul was unbalanced before I came to you. I came to you to see if it would go away. That was my theory. Uh, weird theory, but it did. Sunshine, it did. 
Wait, you didn't do it on purpose then? Do you have any clue what you're doing? Never. <laughs> I just ride the tide, fam. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. Casper, I literally have no clue what you're talking about. It's your soul. You're giving it away, to, so to speak. No, no, I said no. I said no to giving you my soul. How would I even- Do you ever wish, mortal? Feel something so strongly, want for something so badly? There are things I have been wanting for strongly the last few days. It's infuriating. Tell me more. Tell me more. Occasionally. You said that your pet was ill yesterday, correct? And now they're fine. Yes. Wait, are you saying I have powers? I can heal people? Yeah, perfectly normal. What are you getting at? I think you, you did it then as well. You're giving parts of yourself away. To your sick pet, to your plant, to me. Things you want to be healthy. Things you want to live. I think you're taking the taint away or maybe neutralizing it. I don't know. Got an even better look at your soul when I've ascended you. Oh. What did you see? Nothing. I understand the pulse right now. It's because you don't- do not have a full soul. What? Do not have a full soul? Okay, okay. He's discovered him in Ginger. Is this going to affect the bearing of my soul to the afterlife thing? Never seen a soul that is not full. <laughs> yeah. So I can't- I cannot answer your question. If you were to give it all away, well, I assume it would just simply cease to be. Just like that, I'm nothing. I... I would never forget you. Our time together. You're rather unforgettable. I think that fact will cause me much trouble in the future. <laughs> you think I'm special as a response. So maybe try to be careful. Don't wish too hard is all I'm saying. How about a shotgun wedding? <laughs> I don't mind, I'll take the sickness. How do I stop? You want to take my soul soon anyway, right? I might as well be a help beforehand. Don't really think that would be a good idea. This is obviously something you cannot control. True, true, true. You take on more than your body could deal with. Can you teach me to control it? It's not something that can be taught, at least not by me. I mean, yeah, we're not- it's not really the same thing, I guess. I don't understand how it's even possible. I've never met someone with your abilities. How or why you're able to do what you can, I cannot even guess. Well, I'll try and control it. I think you're really hard about- I'll think really hard about not overdoing it. You can do whatever you wish. You're aware I'm trying to take your soul, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and yet, you still- you're such a confusing mortal. Aw, it's because we know he's trying to take our soul, but we're worried about him, so we keep giving him our life force. Fine. But if you take it too far, you'll- Cease to be- yeah, 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 I got it. Suppose we'll just have to do it carefully. Don't get me wrong, if Gregory gets sick, I'll wish really hard. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Must protect puppy. <laughs> Don't expect any less sunshine. Alright, good. The next time you feel imbalanced, you can try to alleviate it if you truly wish. As long as I can keep my eye on you, it should be fine. But I don't want you to get too corrupted after all. By the way, what? <laughs> No, it is a mom that you look at me and slowly. We're working on it. We're working on it. We got like a day. We got like a day. Takes time. Takes time. But we're working on it. Casper? Have you ever heard of Casper the Friendly Ghost? Excuse me? The way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable. You ought to be studied. I do that. I do do that. <laughs> You're excused. Say yes or no. 
I have not heard of it. So I suppose the answer is no. Mmm, damn. Kinda have the vibe going for you. <laughs> A friendly ghost vibe? <laughs> I am neither of those things. Oh, you really do. I doubt you and I could ever have a quiet moment. ADHD game. <gasps> oh, I'm not actually diagnosed with anything, but sometimes you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. <laughs> I'm neither of those things. I do have tendencies, but I think everyone kind of has some tendencies towards this or that. I don't know. I have some OCD tendencies, but I don't actually have OCD. We just keep moving on. <laughs> you have your friendly moments. Sometimes, occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You, you're awfully pale. <laughs> well, I'm certain that I'm not a ghost. Like I've said many times, you really have a vivid imagination. Must you let it run so wild all the time? How many seasons does it have? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know either. Mm, definitely. It's actually very freeing. I've got a whole fantasy world up in my head. It's fun. And that's freeing to you how? That just sounds confusing to me. Nah, the brain stuff. The brain stuff is good. It's escapism. <laughs> it's comforting to have somewhere I can reach you to. <laughs> I can imagine and create a world in whatever way I please. Hmm. It's a little escape from reality. You want to leave reality? <laughs> leave? No, but I do not wish... I don't wish to not be a part of this reality. Ugh, the backwards, the the double negative. I just think I'm, I just like imagining things in story building. Maybe I should write a book? Maybe you should. Hmm. Well, I cannot say I fully understand, but it seems like a good use of your creative talents. Even if your imagination perhaps runs a little too wild sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. Write it all out and then condense your thoughts later. You know? Come a long way, huh? You seem less edgy than when we first met. Well, I, I mean, as you get to know people, they open up a, a couple walls or two and that's fair. I was never edgy. I am death. <laughs> there it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I... I am the same as always. Nothing has changed. Nope, not my feelings or anything. Not at all. <laughs> Mighty suspicious Casper. Don't believe I've changed all that much. Maybe it's because we're friends now? I don't see you as a friend. He can only tell the truth, which what means which means two things. One, he hates us and doesn't thinks we're more of acquaintances. Two, he likes us more than a friend. Ah, oh, I see. That kind of hurts, you know. You didn't have to say it right to my face. You misunderstand. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Hee hee hee, fuck. I thought you were more perceptive than this. Ow. I've been flirting with you for days. Yes, and we went the oblivious route. Hee hee hee. Hells. Just three dots. It's not something I expected. I could have never expected this. It's not something I cho chose. It's a terrible idea all around, honestly. To not want to be friends. <laughs> Stop talking. I... I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much. Way too much. Hee hee hee. Why me? Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's unfair, honestly. I've done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I've been a group reaper. Now my heart tells me to throw it all away. What are you talking about? Come on, main character. We can okay, I went the oblivious route, but still. 
I didn't expect you to feel like this. <laughs> it feels so strongly. You're supposed to just be another job. Are supposed to just be another job. Don't think like that anymore. Your soul is one I must collect. There's no way out of it. It's my job as a reaper. It's a task I must fulfill. But I find myself wanting to disobey it, to break all the rules. I've so carefully followed until this week. Are we gonna figure out that we're soulmates or something? Wait, what? And break them. If I do, they'll just send someone else. I'm easily replaceable. I'm one of thousands. Oh. Oof. You're not replaceable to me, but that's not what I'm trying to say exactly. Okay, what is it? What I'm trying to say is that I... I don't want to be friends. I don't want that at all. I found myself wanting to be selfish. Because I want more. More from you. Hehehe. <laughs> more than friendship. You like me, <laughs> are you sure? Certain. We're in, boys. We are, we are, we are. I like you, Solaya. I don't know why or how or what to do about it, but I... I like you very much. It angers me how much I can't hate you. Dear gods above, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Do not perceive me. <laughs> I want to perceive you as my response. <laughs> I should, but instead you've done this to me, ruined me completely. Anyway, cool. Now that that is all said and done, I'm gonna go. Time for a long cold shower. Oh. oh. I didn't even get a chance to really respond, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> uh, you really said all that then left? Come back. You don't need to be so shy. I'm not being shy. Sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I'm actually quite forward. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. So you desire me? <laughs> that should be obvious to you. Okay, okay. Well, you do need a cold shower now. That is unrelated. <laughs> yeah, I must wash all my hair, that's all. Glad I have that effect on you, winky face. <laughs> I can just imagine the smirk on your face. I'm I'm having a good laugh. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> You're a wicked woman immortal. By the way, since it's someone top buckle. You ever cut your hair? Yeah, I was gonna say he's got pretty long hair. You know, I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just curious. It's very long. It must have taken a long time to grow. I don't. There's no need for me to cut it anyway. Fair enough, fair enough. See, I used to cut my hair because it was just too much work to maintain it, and now I've given up and I just, I kind of maintain it, but it's still. It's like, meh. Mm -hmm. Really suits you. It does suit. It does suit Casper. Casper. Thanks. Your hairstyle also suits you. You'll just keep growing it then. No. But you just said my hair does not grow like mortals. Oh, is it just as is? Imagine your hair just doesn't grow. You cut it, and then you just that's it. Mine has simply always been this way. Someone tacked you with scissors when it grow it wouldn't grow back, yeah. Like what would happen? Do you plan to attack me with scissors? Uh yeah, as fun as that would be, no. I wouldn't do that to someone. Yeah. Yeah, our character knows this up. Character knows this up. It's just me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Teasing is okay. Actually doing stuff, you never know how it's going to affect the person. And different people hold different things to a different standard of, like, you know, like, how important it is to them. And I know some people that their hair is very precious to them, so I get it. 
And I quite like how you are right now. He's, he's, he's pretty long hair and an attitude. <laughs> what more could a girl ask for? He he he. Lots of money, fame, immortality? Nah, I don't want immortality, man. Alright, they sound good too. Money would be good. Fame? I'm not really sure. It'd be kinda nice, but I guess, I don't know. Oh, the flower suit you, I didn't even see that beforehand. I don't know, fame maybe a little bit, but not too much. But I could also settle with that one. Yeah, it does sound lonely. A lot of stuff in these days when it comes to immortality explores like how it would be to just like see everything you come to know just disappear in front of your eyes and then you just kind of have to keep living with it. Very sad, very sad. As long as I get my grumpy at Charming Reaper, that is. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's like, oh, it's a curse, but it's not, so... I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of Charming Reapers out there. Forgot the grumpy part. <laughs> You're the only grumpy Reaper. Oh, so sorry, my bad. <laughs> Wait a second. You're born with hair that long? I was gonna say, I don't think he's probably a baby. What? I can't imagine a baby with hair like yours. I was gonna say, I don't think he probably had a baby form. I think he just appeared. You misunderstand. I suppose I haven't re ever really explained. I wasn't born. I was never a baby or a child. I was created solely for my purpose as a Grim Reaper. I've always looked the way I do now. Oh. Interesting, interesting. But what about before you were a Reaper? Is there anything? There was not a before, okay. Well, to be honest, I do not know what was before. It's classified, even for me. All I know is that we were created somehow, then given our job. That's why I seem to live for my job. I literally do. Could you have been human once? Maybe? You gotta get souls from somewhere. Maybe they whipped your memories. Maybe, maybe. I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul, so it came from somewhere. I'm not totally artificially created, I think. So what happens if you want to quit? Yeah, I guess... Because Grim says he's been doing this for... Was it 200 years? Or 2,000 years? But that's still not that long in the scope of human history. I... I would probably be forcefully terminated. That sounds like death. No, I would say death is not healthy. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of hair and all that, I'm gonna wash mine now. Still need that cold shower, huh? <laughs> I'll talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a haircut, by the way. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> tomorrow, soul. The last day of our bet. Good night. Until tomorrow, Casper. I'm gonna take his soul, it's in mine. Alright, just adjusting, 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 adjusting. Alright. Nice, oh, more items. Let's go. You once again spent the day mostly at home, but since you woke up, you've been feeling a little strange. Off balance, perhaps. Not only that, but Gregory was off acting a bit off, a little sluggish. You had a quick trip over to the vet, but they found nothing wrong with him. So you stayed by Gregory's side, trying your best to will him to good health. Oh, Gregory. Gregory has seemed a little down all day. You've been worrying that he's getting sick again, so you've been wishing as hard as you can. Oh, but despite what Casper said about your so-called ability, nothing has changed. Leave Gregory to rest. I feel like if I wish too much, um, I might die. <laughs> the whole way beyond is silent. You wonder what's happening with your neighbors, but you're too tired to really care. Well, you're feeling a little sluggish today. Even sitting on the edge of your bed, you can't be bothered even thinking of standing to do anything else. Strange. Sit or soul. 
I might save here because I uh, just to be safe. Probably should have been saving more often, but that's fine. What did we get in the gallery? What did we get? What did we get? Oh, it's nice. It's the Christmas, your character here. Are we just missing these? Why did it skip? Those must be things we uh, didn't, act didn't go down roots for. Well, let's get this started. Wait. Oh, yeah. I thought it was answering a call for a sec. I was like, it doesn't matter. Not to alarm you or anything, but I think something's wrong. I've certain now. My plant just died. Your plant? Did you not water it? Oh, the cute little TV again. You have my heart, is this? Oh. <laughs> of course I did. Perhaps too much water? I do not know much about keeping plants. And Gregory's sick again. What? Are you unwell too? I think I'm alright? Question mark? Just stressed about Gregory? Okay, yeah, that that's, that's understandable. Not that I think you should use your talent so much, but have you tried? Of course I have been trying all morning. And it's not working. Something has changed. Are you positive I can really heal things like that? I love being unwell. Why? No, man. You good? <laughs> that, uh... The Evo is really, uh, is, is really, you know, struggling. <laughs> but... <laughs> I see, I see. Make sure you take care of yourself. Water, food, all of it. Yes, 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 yes. It's good for you, it's good for you, it's good for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt it, sunshine, I'm pretty sure. I'm correct 99% of the time after all. And you, how do you feel? Fine. Well, my body's fine. My mind is taken and beating from lack of sleep last night. Doesn't even want to eat his favorite treats. Hmm. Perhaps there's some limit to the amount your soul can give away in just a short period of time. Yeah, if you say so. I hope if the dog dies, I am quitting the game. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> I won't actually, but I would love to. I, I, that's how I would like to make my stand if it needs to happen. I don't think it will. I don't. I don't think it will, but <laughs> I'll try again later. You might just need to replenish some energy. Have you eaten? Yes. I do forget sometimes, but I always eat eventually. But I did forget to grab a drink. Agua, everyone. Agua. Agua, agua. It's good for you. Go drink some water, it'll do you some good. Right now? He's 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 redeeming hydrate. Brim is currently redeeming hydrate. <laughs> yes, right now, gone. Yes, boss, I'll be our me. Step away from your computer and head to your kitchen for a quick snack and some water. Though they make your stomach feel slightly less empty, you now notice something else. A strange darkness in the corner of your vision. Was that there before? Wait, it's kind of on the screen. A little bit. Shake your head and go back to Gregory. He's still looking a bit sickly. You nail down in front of him and concentrate as hard as you can. Concentrate on your wish. Your head throbs a little, but nothing happens. <laughs> so you try again and again, one more time for good measure. You feel slightly faint, but nothing else is obviously changing. With a sigh, you go back to your computer. I beg. I'm back. You got me Ogwa and my snack and I'm good to go. <laughs> to be honest, yes I am happier if you are eating properly. It's a stupid thing to be happy about when I have to kill you and take your soul, but that is unimportant. I tried to help Gregory again too. You tried again that quickly? Of course. It's the puppy. We must save the puppy. Told you, I always try hard for him. Answer this immediately. Are you seriously the biggest idiot I know? Yes. Wow, that's a little rude. Okay, 
Yes, I suppose it is rude, but you know what? It's also true. But what if there isn't much time? I don't care if it makes me sick. Makes you sick? If you give all your soul away, you won't be sick. You'll be gone. Not even dead, just gone. You gotta be more careful. I know. Sorry, Casper. If there's anyone you should be sorry to, it should be yourself. Are you sure you're feeling well? Solar? I actually feel kind of dizzy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need a white-haired reaper to come catch me. Hehehe. <laughs> Close your eyes. Still have part of my soul within you, for better or for worse. I'll use it to check your soul more closely. Alright. Our eyes never opened again. This can't be right. What's wrong? Stay still and keep your eyes shut. I'm con concentrating. I thought you said connecting, but it's concentrating. <laughs> I open up. What's the diagnosis, Doc? How many times did I tell you? How many times did you try to heal your pet? Been trying all day, but nothing changed. I would say something was changing because now your soul is barely a flicker. What? No, that can't be right. It couldn't be all used up that quickly. It could if you were doing it constantly all day. Mortals, stay there. I th I'll make my way to your boat this instant. What? Right now? It's an urgent matter. It can't be that bad, right? Right? Hang in there, okay? GG's. <laughs> That's it. We just fall over and die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You once again stand up from your desk, but this time you feel much more shaky on your feet. Your vision's going in and out of focus. Something isn't right. Now you're sure of that. However, turning to look at Gregory's perked right up, our wish came true. Ah, uh, you think everything's okay now. You sit on the edge of your bed, and you wait. It doesn't take long before your window, for your window to be pulled open. Solar. You hear his voice. I don't know why I did that voice. <laughs> You hear his voice. You see him standing in your room. Why does that seem so natural? Your vision is blurry and you feel faint. You try to get to your feet but stumble. Casper catches you. Hey, nine hells. This is worse than I thought. Come on, everything's gonna be alright. Let's get you sitting down, okay? Hey, Grim. No search spending nonsense now. It's time for you to rest. You win. I win. My soul's gonna disappear, isn't it? I don't want to disappear. So you win. You won the bet. You can take my soul. Uh oh. Don't don't be absurd. I lost. Your soul is yours. You can take mine. I. Is my soul going to disappear? You can't lie. Solar, I can't. I told you, I told you yesterday, I have to care for you, have come to care for you too much, I couldn't. Please? This isn't fair. Life isn't fair, Casper. The only fairness is in death, right? Wait. What though? I'll take you to the best afterlife, I promise. You'll never want for anything. The room is spinning now. Words are difficult to hear. So this is what dying feels like, you think. At least Gregory's okay. I know, I'm not a day. Take care of Gregory, okay? Of course. And Casper? I think I really like you too. Ending two? Ending two? How do I get a different ending? A lone reaper sits in his bedroom. Oh, he's hugging Azrael. Oh. He holds Azrael close as tears run down his cheeks. Casper never knew what love felt like until he met Solar. Their souls had connected in a way he thought he'd never feel again. And now Solar was gone, and Casper was alone. Suddenly, he felt there wasn't much fairness in death. If death was fair, why would he feel like this? 
He'd accomplished what he set out to do. His peers congratulated him, and he never felt so empty. I miss you, Solar, he snuffles. But no one answers him, and so Casper goes living alone, thinking on the memory of the mortal he was supposed to hate, but couldn't help but love. Such is the life of a Grim Reaper. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. How do we get a different... Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. How did we end up with this? Did we not? Alright, I'm, I want to try one thing. I want to try one thing. I want to try one thing. Mm. We might be skipping through some dialogue and stuff, but we're, we're going to try something. We're going to try something. I, I should have saved more throughout the game. Uh, wow, this is a lot of patrons. Patrons? Squid. Squid it got. And me. New items added to gallery. Okay, let me, let me go to the gallery. So each of the locked gallery things must be different endings. Oh. Alright, okay, okay, okay. No, this is just the same one, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that's just gonna get us the same ending. No, I just overrode it, oh my god. Alright, go away, wait, 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 okay. God damn it. Fucking hell, it's, I think we're gonna have to go through a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going to skip through a little bit. Oof, indeed, oof, indeed. Should have been doing quick save. How do you skip? What the hell? It's not skipping. Poopy. This is very poopy. Because this is a lot of dialogue to go through. The skip doesn't do anything. Mmm. I'm very upset I accidentally saved over that other one. Uh, okay, can I go back? Okay, where are the auto? Okay, there's autos. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay. 157, 157, 155, 147, Auto. Maybe the one fifty six. Hmm. 
I don't understand. I don't understand. Well. I guess that's the game. I'm kind of upset I didn't save more throughout. I'm very upset with myself because I wanted to see. Because there was the part, I think one of the decision makers for the different endings. I Let me actually look up how many endings there are quick. How many endings there be. How many endings in a fate with death? Because at one point he was like, what would you do with it? There's- okay. Uh, okay, apparently there's five endings. Alright. Interesting, interesting. But, yeah, I, I'll very upset that I didn't say more, but I think at that one point where it's like, hey, would you, because at one point it was like, what would you do with it? I picked that, like, I wouldn't mind to be, like, corrupted more in order to help people. I think if I had picked the other one or either of the other two, maybe it would have ended with a different ending. Maybe some of the other endings are more like how you speak pick specific dialogue and stuff like that but yeah i would say that was a good game i enjoyed that a lot that was very fun i'm very curious to know what the other endings are i might end up looking them up but i 100 percent do recommend playing through this game and trying it out for yourself if you want to have a go at it see if you can get i got the worst ending no Oh, whoops, I accidentally closed my music, but it, it makes sense, because, um, with the whole plotline of the game, it's that, you know, everything that's occurring is technically forbidden, right? So, like, everything that you're doing is technically not allowed, you can't do this, you can't do that, like, yeah, I, from my quick search, it said ending one and two are bad, three and five are good and then I think four is more of a mysterious ending just based on the uh bit of quick search I did like I said I'll probably either play the game again or look up the endings I'll probably end up looking them up because I didn't oh, I should have saved for often it's just one of those things I'm in the midst of the game I don't think of saving like when I'm in a horror game I'm like oh, I'll save any chance I can get but like in dating sims and stuff I'm just like oh I'm just enjoying this story but yeah yeah I do 100% recommend if you want to give a dating sim a go yes I'm sorry Nomad but the stream must end up if the game is done um but yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I, it feels like it took a turn so quick. I've like I wasn't emotionally ready for it. There's like barely any build up because I felt like the. I mean, when we played on Sunday, it felt like it took a long time to get through like the first few days, and then like the second like today we we flew through that. Thank you for the head pads. But yeah, that, that was a that was a bit of a oh oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. But I'm glad it it makes sense with the story, but it's a forbidden love story, of course, so it's like it makes sense. It makes sense. But I kinda wanted to win the bet, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, but I <laughs> made it in a better way, but yeah, I think it would have been funny to get the ending where I win. But alas. But yeah, tomorrow we're also not doing a spooky game. Uh, I'm gonna try some getting over it. I played a bit of it during my donathon, and then I never, I never had a chance to go back to it because I made it really high, and then I fell all the way back down to the bottom. So we're gonna try and give that another go. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can get back to the point where I was beforehand, if not higher. I would very much like to go higher, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I got decently high, and then I was like, oh no, 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 and literally in like 10, like 
I guess two minutes I got myself all the way back down to the bottom so we'll see I'll have to get back like used to the controls I have not kept trying Nomad no it's yeah I don't know I think I was getting not rangier but I think I was finding getting over it a little more frustrating just because the control on it is like uh, like chain together is just WASD jump all that stuff, which is fairly normal. The only odd mechanic is the pulling, whereas like getting over it, like trying to figure out how to finagle, like how to go down and push off on your axe, it's it's a it's a little harder of a learning curve I find. I mean, not that we did perfect in <laughs> chain together, but yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. But yeah, we'll be doing that at 11:30 p.m. EST tomorrow, and then we'll uh, the voting for community night will probably be the day after that. Yeah. So Wednesday. It'd be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, so voting for community night will probably open up on Thursday morning. So we'll be picking what game to play. I still haven't picked what games we're going to be picking from. But yeah, 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 yeah. All fun stuff, all good times. I guess I should figure out who we're going to raid. Um, what else? I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Mmm. -hmm. My brain's dying as always. Don't worry about it. Um. Ads. I'm sorry. No bad. They they just they always pop up. No, we're just we're just gonna go over and raid Goose. He's playing Wizard 101 right now. I don't really know much about it, but he seems to be having a good time playing it. Um. Yeah, no, thank you everyone for stopping in and hanging out with me. I'm sorry we got the sad ending. That kind of feels like a bit of a downer to end on, but I'm happy we could beat the game technically. Even though it wasn't necessarily the way we wanted it to end. So I'll probably figure out, maybe, I'll probably end up watching the other endings for myself, but um... Yeah, oh, thank you for that. <laughs> That's no bad. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I see how it is, I see how it is. But yeah. yeah. I don't think it was too expensive of a game, so if you want to, give it a try. If not, that is also fair and fine. But yeah, yeah it was a good game. It was. It had been a while since I'd done a dating sim, so that was really nice. Oh no, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you all had fun, and I will... Hopefully see y'all tomorrow, if not another time. Get water, get food, do whatever you need to do. Take care of yourself and good night. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, if the, if the raid hasn't technically started. You still have, like, a couple seconds, but... Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I will send you over now. Good night. Sleep well. Or enjoy your morning if that's what's going on, because other time zones exist. thing where they're like well they're doing it so i gotta do it as well just so they know that